Okay, so today's lesson is on solving radical equations. The first type of radical equation we're going to look at is the square root. Now, remember that the square root of x can also be written as x to the one-half power, where 1 is the power on the radicand, so this is x to the first power, and 2 represents the root, which we have an invisible 2 right here in the V. The inverse of a square root is x squared. This is important to know when we're solving, because remember, when we solve, we are undoing operations. So at some point, we are going to be undoing square root by doing the inverse operation, which is squaring. Now, once you solve for x, you're going to want to watch out for extraneous solutions, which means that when we convert it, when we change it from a square root to a squared equation, remember, when you have a squared equation, you're going to have two solutions. And it's possible that the solutions to the squared equation, um, they may be solutions to that, but they are not solutions to the original equation. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So recall that when solving an equation, we undo Pem, uh, GEMDAS. So we're going to start by undoing, adding, and subtracting. So in this case, we do not have any adding and subtracting to undo. So then we're going to move to undoing, multiplying, and dividing. So we're going to undo the multiply by 3 by dividing by 3. So we're going to have the square root of x equals 3. The next thing we're going to undo is we're going to undo exponents. So remember that the inverse of a square root is squaring. So we're going to undo the square root by squaring. And what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So by squaring it, it cancels out the square root because they're inverses. So we end up with x equals 9. Now, to, deter to determine if this is an extraneous solution, we would plug it back in and check our answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have 3 times the square root, plugging our 9 in, equals 9. So we have 3 times the square root of 9 is 3, equals 9. 9 equals 9. And so that checks out. So for all of your problems, you're going to want to do a check to make sure your answer works. Okay, let's take a look at example number two. So again, we're going to follow GEMDAS backwards. So adding and subtracting. Well, this subtraction is inside the grouping symbol, so we don't do that. There's nothing being multiplied or divided, so we're going to go straight to undoing the exponent. So we're going to undo the square root with squaring. So that cancels out the square root. Okay, so continuing to solve, we have now what we, we have a quadratic. So remember, when solving a quadratic, we set the equation equal to 0. So I'm going to go ahead and add x and subtract 2 over here. So we're going to add x, subtract 2 over here. So those are going to cancel. Okay, so 
we can use the quadratic formula here. We could try solving by factoring here. Uh, let's see what we end up with. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and solve this by factoring. Looks factorable to me. A times C. B on the bottom. So that's going to be 2 and negative 1. They multiply to give you the top. They add to give you the bottom. A value goes on top. X plus 2. X minus 1. So the solutions to this quadratic are x equals negative 2 and x equals 1. Now it's time to check our solutions. We're going to check both of these solutions into our original equation. So checking negative 2. So 2 minus negative 2. Does that equal negative 2. So notice I plugged the negative 2 in for this x and I plugged the negative 2 in for this x into the original equation. So we're going to have 2 plus 2 which is 4 and the square root of 4 is 2 and that does not work which means that x equals negative 2 is not a solution we will discard it and now we will check the second possible solution. So we get 2 minus 1 plugging 1 in for x equals 1 so we get the square root of 1 equals 1 the square root of 1 is 1 equals 1 that checks out so this is our solution. Turning the page to a new page, we're going to look at solving cube root equations. So you may want to stop the video so you can write this down. Okay, so first of all, we have the cube root of x. That can be written with a rational exponent. Remember the power on the radicand, the power goes on top of the fraction, and the root goes on the bottom. These are equivalent expressions, just different formats for writing the same thing. Okay, the inverse of a cube root is q or x q. So the inverse of a cube root is cubing. I should just call it cubing. Okay. All right. Now with uh, odd roots, there will be no extraneous solutions. The only time you're going to have extraneous solutions is if the root is even. Okay, that's why back on these previous examples, we had a possibility of an extraneous solution. Okay, but for cube roots, none. Okay, so solving these equations, again, whenever you're solving an equation, you are undoing GEMDAS. So we're going to start by undoing adding and subtracting. And remember, we're trying to isolate the variable that we're solving for. So in this case, we're trying to isolate x. So undoing the 12, since it's being added, uh, it's a positive 12, so we're going to subtract it to cancel it out. Okay. Then we undo any multiplying and dividing. So right here, we're multiplying by 3. Uh, 
okay? Next, we undo the exponent. So this is the cube root. So the inverse of a cube root is cubic. So we're going to raise both sides to the third power. And that's going to cancel out our cube root because one third times three is one. And negative two cubed would be negative two times negative two times negative two, which is going to be negative eight. And now that we're inside the grouping symbol, we now take care of what's inside. So we revert back to undoing, adding, and subtracting. So we have a solution of x equals negative 7. Now let's go ahead and check that answer to make sure we have it correct. So we're going to have, this is going to be our check. Plugging negative 7 in for x. And we want to simplify the left side here to see if it equals the right side. So we're going to go ahead and remember when simplifying, we do GEMDAS forward. So we start with what's inside the grouping symbol. Okay, so we did inside the grouping symbol first, then we do exponents, so negative 8 to the 1 -third power. In other words, the cube root of negative 8, which is negative 2, we saw that right here. Okay. Multiplying and dividing, so we got 12 minus 6, because 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And adding and subtracting, we get 6 equals 6, and it checks out. Okay, well, I hope you're having a good uh, weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. And come bring and bring your questions.